What is going on guys? It's Caleb here. Welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone has had a great weekend. In today's video, we're going to tour some homes in the Disney area. We're going to start in Davenport, then we're going to go to Kissimmee, and then we're going to finish in Orlando. And lastly, we're going to take you guys along for our afternoon at Disney Springs and showcase some of the places we enjoy to eat. So without further ado, let's jump right into the tours. Well guys, we've made it to the next property. We're here in beautiful Davenport, Florida in Highlands Reserve. It's a golf course community. I've actually played this golf course quite a bit. I've actually, I lived in Davenport for about eight years. So I'm very familiar with these communities. It's one of my favorite communities. This home that I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys uh, right now, let me go ahead and flip the camera around so I can give you a look at the street view. All right, so here's the home we're gonna go ahead and tour real quick. I'm gonna give you a quick look at the street view. Very, very nice homes. And uh, this community has a very reasonable HOA as well. And as you can see, everything's very nice and clean. And it's just right off of Highway 27 as well. We'll go ahead and insert some aerial shots uh, within these few clips. Um, so this property features four bedrooms. It has three full baths. It has 1,974 square feet of interior space. Monthly HOA of $48.33 sitting on a 0.19 acre lot built in 2002. That's had a recent price reduction of $10,000 and it is now being offered for $469,000. So let's go ahead, get inside and take a look. Also guys, make sure you note this property is being sold fully furnished. So everything you see here is what you get, which is great, especially if you are somebody who is looking to relocate from out of state and uh, you don't want to take any furniture. You just want to bring your toothbrush and you're like, yep, I'll just buy the home and then I'll just uh, go from there. So it won't be a bad option if that's uh, what you're looking to do. So as we get in, we have the hallway just right in front, which will lead to the living room area, which we'll get to here shortly. But uh, just to the left, we have a look at the sitting room area and um, you got nice high ceilings and uh, do you have tile and laminate it looks like throughout. I didn't see any carpet when I walked it initially when I got here. So we have the dining room just right to the right hand side of the front door and just through that little pass through there will lead to the kitchen. But we're actually just going to go down this hall here. And uh, I want to go ahead and show you guys the living room. So this is actually the primary suite just right here to the left. It is a split floor plan. And then the remaining bedrooms will be on the right hand side of the home. So we'll just go ahead. So look at the living room space. We've got a little breakfast nook area. And then we have the kitchen. So here's a look at the microwave oven, refrigerator dishwasher, have our sink, and a decent amount of cabinet space as well, which is nice. And again, everything you see here is what you get. So it's all included within the sale. So make sure you keep that in mind. Now, I think they did use this as a short-term rental property at some point when they were out, um, when they were not here. So you do have some, some fun stuff, pool table, basketball, air hockey, all that stuff as well. So if you like that, that will come with the home as well. So let's go ahead and check out the bedrooms. Let's just go ahead and start to the right hand side since we're right here. Actually, I lied earlier. There is carpet. I thought there was not any carpet, but we do have carpet on this side and probably all throughout the bedroom. So here's a look at bedroom number one. I'll just go to this side here, give you guys a look. And then we also have ceiling fans. And then this one's nice because it has a full, fully attached bath. So there's a look at the sink. You got your, or excuse me, let's go back. Reverse toilet, sink and vanity. And then we have the walk-in shower just right there. So. It's very nice to have a attached bath in one of the bedrooms. And um, as we move forward, we'll find bedroom number two. 
I'm not going to go all the way in, but you guys can see that pretty well, I hope. And uh, then we have bedroom number three just right next to it. Two twin beds. And a uh, good size bedroom overall. And um, lastly, we have the final full bath on this side of the house. And this door here will give you access to the pool and backyard space and toilet, shower tub combo. And that will be it for this side. So let's go ahead and go to the opposite side of the house, check out the primary suite, and then we'll make our way out to the pool space. So go right past the living room and voila, here we go. Primary suite, really nice size bedroom space. And uh, I'll just go right here to this little corner. Got a king size bed. Give you a good look at the space. Now this closet is locked, it is the owner's closet. Uh, you'll see that sometimes in these properties that are not occupied uh, full time by the owner. They'll just lock a closet and uh, keep some of their stuff in there so they don't have to bring so much when they travel here. So here we go with the primary bath, double sinks, walk-in shower, soaker tub. I do like that mirror, or not that mirror, that window right there uh, that will uh, give the space some good light. And we have the toilet. And again, there's a look at the window. Very good floor plan, I actually really like it. And uh, lastly, let's go check out the best part of the house, which will be the pool space. So let's go ahead and make our way through the sliding glass doors. Then we have the undercover area just right here. Some seating, nice area to relax, have a beer or four, and uh, enjoy the beautiful Florida weather. Got some lounge chairs, and then we have the spa, beautiful pool, and uh, no rear neighbors at the moment. It looks like they're, I think they're building actually commercial um, developments just right over here behind it. I think they're gonna have probably some restaurants and stuff like that, but oh wow. Look at this, guys. We got a snake in the pool. Looks like it's a, I don't even know what kind of snake that is, but hey, buddy, I'm not gonna help you get out because I don't know exactly what kind of snake that is, and I'm not going to take that kind of risk right now in my life. So anyways, I might actually just use one of the pool. There we go. I'll use one of these things and I'll get him out. So don't worry, people, I'm not gonna leave him in there and uh, I'll help him out. So anyways, that'll be it for this tour. I'm gonna get the snake out of the pool and uh, that'll be all for now. Well, folks, we have made it to the next property here in today's video. We are in the subdivision of Orange Branch Bay. It's a fully gated community. It does have a monthly HOA of $108 a month. And um, this property has actually had a recent price reduction of $40,000. It was originally on the market for $590,000. It is now being offered for $550,000. It's only about 40 minutes away from Disney Springs, just to give you guys a little uh, idea of exactly kind of where it's located in proximity to the parks and uh, entertainment and all that stuff. So I want to give you a quick look at the street view. And, and as I was driving in, I noticed this property, which is right across the street. It looks like it is a foreclosure i haven't seen it on the mls i haven't really looked but i still i just noticed it so i'm going to look into it a little bit more but it looks like a possible opportunity to maybe make some money or uh have an investor check it out and uh, see if we can restore it but it definitely looks like it's vacant and needs some love but anyway the property of focus today is going to be this property here, it features five bedrooms. It has three full, it has one half bath, 3,590 square feet of interior space built in 2007. And again, it has a monthly HOA of $108 a month sitting on a 0.31 acre lot. And um, does have a pool and it is currently on the market for $550,000. It's had some recent updates as well. It has two brand new AC units and uh, has a pretty good floor plan overall. So let's go ahead, get inside and check it out. I do like the landscaping. Then you have some nice palm trees and whatnot. So um, I do like the curb appeal of these properties. So 
Here's a look at the front porch. And uh, let's go ahead, get inside and uh, take a quick tour. All right, so as we get in, I do like the ceiling features. And um, just to the right hand side, we have the dining room space. And uh, to the left, we have a sitting room area. Do have wood floors throughout, and then you do have carpet uh, on these stairs leading to the second level. But overall, I think there's just uh, wood throughout. So as you can see, we have the stairs just right there to the right hand side that will lead up to the second level, which will get up to there here shortly. We have the half bath, which is just conveniently located right here for your guest or yourself. And um, just right here to the left hand side, we have a kind of, I would say maybe a bonus room or office space. I think it'd be really uh, better to use as an office space. And as you can see, you have plenty of room there and also a ceiling fan. And as we continue, we have the living room space just right here to the left. And then uh, as we go to the right hand side, we'll find the breakfast nook and then also the kitchen area. As you can see, there's, you know, the kitchen could use some updates and stuff like that and um, whatnot. But overall, the space uh, is, is what uh, we should focus on because you can always, you know, update a kitchen um, as you go if you want to. So let's look at the refrigerator. And um, through this door here, this will actually give us access to the three car garage. So there's a look at the, you're probably like, where's the third car? So this is a three car tandem garage. So you do have, this would be the third space for where uh, the car would go. And uh, yeah, so pretty, pretty cool there. So let's go ahead and open this door. See what we have here. This would be the pantry space and uh, not too big, not too small. Then you have some more cabinet and uh, I got a little sink right there as well, which is nice. And then it just leads to the dining room, which is uh, where we started. The front door is just right there. So anyways, we do have a bedroom on the first level, which I'm going to go ahead and show you right now before we get out to the pool space. And then we'll go right up to the second level. So we have bedroom number one, uh, just right here. So not too bad of a size, not too big, not too small. And uh, then we have the first full bath, uh, which is just right here. So let's look at the sink, vanity, toilet, and then we have the shower tub combo there. Uh, nice high ceilings throughout as well. So let's go ahead and get out to the pool and backyard space. Go ahead and go through the sliding glass doors. And I love this lanai area here. It's basically the full length of the house, which is completely undercover, which is nice. Then here's a look at the pool, great size pool. And then you're not immediately like, you have neighbors obviously right there, but they're not like super, super close to you in my opinion. And uh, here's a look at the full area here. So it would be really nice. Come out here and relax with your friends and uh, really enjoy the beautiful Florida weather. So anyways, that's that. Let's go ahead and go upstairs and uh, check out the second level. Wow, these stairs are steep. I feel like I'm hiking right now. I need to change my shoes, get some hiking boots on. Since we're going up a mountain, it feels like. Um, so let's go ahead and start and go to the left-hand side. Now, if you notice, we do have wood flooring all throughout. It was just the stairs that had the carpet there, but that can easily be changed. Have a little area here where you can maybe put a desk, make it a little study. And then obviously you have the open railing, which I do like. It makes it feel uh, a little bit open, but look at this. You guys will really like this primary suite. It's absolutely massive. So as we get in, this will actually be, well, this is where they have the bed at. I mean, you can obviously put it wherever you want, but uh, very, very spacious primary suite. Go right into the walk-in closet here. 
And uh, as you can see, very nice size walk-in closet. And uh, we'll get to the primary bath. And uh, we have the shower tub or the shower, or the soaker tub, excuse me. And then we have sink number one, sink number two, walk-in shower, toilet just hiding right there. So that'll be it for the primary suite. I don't want this video to be too long because this house is very big. So I'm trying to show you as much as I can in a reasonable amount of time. So final bedrooms will be on this side. So here's a look at the next bedroom here. And it's also a very good sized bedroom. Give you a quick look at the closet. And uh, we'll go ahead and make our way out. And then we have the next full bath, sink, vanity, toilet, shower tub combo, just right there. And uh, we'll have our laundry room just right here. Washer and dryer hookups are just right in front of me. And then we have the um, kind of a linen closet just right there. I do love the window as well to uh, give the space some light. So have our final two bedrooms and uh, take a quick tour. And they're all pretty medium sized bedrooms. They're not too big, they're not too small. And uh, I think they're very uh, efficient. So anyways, final bedroom. Just right here. And it's about the same size as the last bedroom we were just at. So that'll be it for this tour, guys. Let's go ahead and get to the next one. Well guys, we have just arrived in Sand Lake Sound here in beautiful Dr. Phillips. I absolutely love this area. I only live about 10 to 12 minutes away, um, but it's a fully gated community. They offer townhomes and single family homes. They were built in 2021 to I believe 2022, around that time period. Um, a lot of the single family homes are on like the lake side, which is Little Sand Lake and then Big Sand Lake. So you'll see some of those with lakefront options just like that. Um, it's right off of Turkey Lake Road. That's how you get here. And then also Sand Lake Road is very close to it as well, which where you have Restaurant Row. Um, a lot of my favorite restaurants over there, Eddie V's, Rocco's Tacos. I'm actually going there probably within the next couple hours to meet some clients. So really nice area. I love this community. So I want to go ahead and show you guys this uh, townhome. And um, I believe that's it. So let's go ahead and check this property out. Well, folks, here's a look at the townhome that we're gonna go ahead and tour. Uh, I just wanna give you guys a look at the street view because to the left-hand side of this street, we have the townhome options, which we are going to go ahead and tour here shortly. But I wanna give you a look at the right-hand side of the street where they do have single family home options as well. And like I said earlier, all these properties, when they do hit the market, they sell so fast um, just because of the location. But anyways, let's go ahead and go over the specs of this townhome. It has four bedrooms, it has two full, it has one half bath. Built in 2020, has 1,798 square feet of interior space has a monthly HOA of $333 a month. And I know you guys are probably like, wow, Caleb, that is high. Well, it does cover a decent amount of things. It is in a gated community. Um, it has a playground pool, covers the sidewalks, exterior maintenance, ground maintenance, and um, pool maintenance and the private road. So you do have some perks there. And it is currently on the market for $685,000. So let's go ahead, and get inside and take a quick tour. I love the front porch area and then also the door as well. Really nice high door. So let's go ahead and see what we got here. A little bit of a squeaky door, but we've had worse. So as we get in, you have nice tile flooring. Um, the paint, it looks like it's been freshly painted because it smells really good in here. So I'm guessing new interior paint. You have the stairs just right there to the right hand side. And I love the open railing. We'll get to the second level here shortly. But uh, just right here, we have the half bath. So here's a look at the half bath. And then you also have a window uh, just right there to give you a little natural light. I don't even have to have any lights on. Um, 
in majority of the areas here in this house. So uh, to the left-hand side, we actually have bedroom number one. I think it'd be better used more as like a flex room in my opinion, but if you are somebody who needs to use this as a bedroom, then you know, it, it would work just perfectly fine. And then you have the closet space just right here, as you can see. So anyways, as we move forward, we are going to go into the living, dining and kitchen space. So here's a look at the living space. And then just to the left-hand side, we have the kitchen. And then just a little bit further down, we'll go right into the dining space. So we have granite countertops, stainless steel appliances, uh, 42 inch cabinets. I do love the color. I'm not like a huge fan of the countertop itself, but overall it's still a very nice kitchen. Um, microwave oven. I do like the backsplash as well. And then here we go. So we have the pantry, just so, you know, a medium sized pantry, not anything too big, not too small, but definitely will do the job. I do love the, cabinet space that this townhome does offer and then just to the opposite side we will find the sink and then we have the dishwasher just right there so i'm going to give you another quick look at the living space and uh, then as we continue this is the dining room space uh, as we are walking through that right now and um, this door actually leads out to the two-car garage so this is where most of your parking will be. There is parking in front of the townhome where I actually walked in. Um, there's some street parking there, but you have the two car garage uh, for extra parking and storage space. And uh, you just put your car in, come through this door here, and uh, you're basically in your dining, kitchen, and living space. So um, not too bad. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the little side porch area. And a lot of people will just put like chairs and stuff out. Actually, probably just like that neighbor right there. And, uh, you know, nice little area to relax, lounge around. And then you have um, the Eye of Orlando just right there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's the, uh, um, I think that's Icon Park over there. So very close to everything, International Drive. So let's go ahead. I believe that was it for the first level. Let's go ahead and make our way to the second level. And it looks like we do have carpet uh, all upstairs, but it's very clean and nice. I don't know if it's new. I don't think it's new, but it looks like it's been taken care of very well as uh, you know, there's no stains or anything that looks too bad. So uh, just to the left-hand side, we'll go right into the primary suite. You got tray ceilings and uh, it's a really nice size bedroom. So let me go ahead, go to this corner here, give you guys a little bit of a, idea of just how spacious this bedroom is. Then we'll have the closet just right here. Little nice size walk-in closet. And um, to finish off the primary suite, we have the primary bath, double sinks, walk-in shower just right there. And then we have our toilet just hiding right there in the corner. So that'd be it for the primary bedroom tour. Let's make our way to the remaining ones. Got to look at our next full bath, shower tub combo, and then we have the laundry room just right here. Got some cabinet space and then have some additional storage space there. Maybe you can put some floating shelves or I don't know, something there just to give you a little bit more cabinets or storage space if that's something that you need so anyways we are in our third bedroom and these bedrooms are big so very spacious keep that in mind and uh go ahead and open the closet i want to show you guys as much as i can it's a standard closet but obviously uh got nice high doors and then we got the fourth and final bedroom just right here which is actually a little bit smaller so uh, just keep that in mind. But anyways, that'll be it for this tour. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, that will be all.
Well guys, we just got to Disney Springs and we wanna go ahead and take you through our day. Obviously, we're checking out some homes in this video that are in the Disney area. So we're gonna go ahead and share with you guys some places that we like to eat, some of our favorite spots here in Disney Springs. What are you excited about? Well, these are areas and restaurants that you don't have to make reservations, which is cool. It's just, you just go make a little line, go in, eat, have fun. Um, we're gonna check burgers, pizza, ice cream, whatever we want to. We're in the mood to just go try a couple of things out. Exactly, so we don't really know what we're gonna end up doing, but we're gonna take you guys along for it and hopefully it gives you a little bit of value. So when you come here, you'll have a little bit of information on where to go. So let's go ahead and get started. As we walk to our first restaurant, we pass by the Welcome Center where you can get the guide map, make dining reservations, and even rent wheelchairs and strollers if needed. First on our list was the Deluxe Burger Restaurant. It's one of my favorite spots at Disney Springs. Usually there is a short line with plenty of indoor and outdoor seating. Plus, the burgers here are deliciosos. On the menu, you can find a list of handcrafted burgers, fresh cut fries, shakes, and alcoholic beverages. We ordered the barbecued burger and the bacon and blue burger with fries and an orange Fanta to wash it all down. We got the fresh cut fries half size, which are crispy with potato skin and seasoned very well. I got a blue burger that has two press signature blended patties with bacon, onion jam, blue cheese, lettuce, and tomato. Mabel, my little mamacita, got the barbecued burger which has two press signature blended patties topped with a fried onion ring, monster cheese, bacon, lettuce, and barbecue sauce. She had the time of her life as she ate that juicy burger. We had a blast and decided to move on to the next restaurant because that's how we roll. Next was Blaze Pizza, fast fire pizzas where you can create your own pizza. On the menu, you will find simple pizzas, blaze your own, cheesy breads, meatballs, salads, and signature pizzas. They also have beverages and desserts. We decided to create our own pizza with red sauce, extra mozzarella cheese, chicken, and pepperoni with a small drink. We paid a total of $15.44, which is not bad at all. They have good seating space indoor and outdoor. And voila! This pizza looks amazing. Caleb couldn't wait to get his grubby hands on it. He loves pizza. It had a thin crust, the perfect amount of cheese, and was made fresh. Super delicioso. We love to share and have a great time. And just like that, we were all done and ready for our next adventure. We decided to walk a little bit to free up some space in our stomach because ice cream is next on the list. And if you are up for a cool ride, don't forget to see Disney Springs from the air. It is only $29.99 for adults and $24.99 for children. As we were walking to the ice cream shop, Caleb almost decapitated a tourist with his bag. Sorry, lady. This place is called Salt and Straw and it is right across from Summer House on the Lake. They have limited edition flavors and classic flavors. I wasn't sure of what to get as there are many options, but I eventually chose one scoop of chocolate gooey brownie and a scoop of sea salt with caramel ribbons, made to perfection. I paid $14.82 for this Rico Sweet Perfecto ice cream. And let me tell you, it was as sweet as my mamacita. We went for another walk to free up some more space for our last and final treat. Our little adventure took us to the World of Disney store 
where you can find all the Disney merch you can think of. We also pass by the Advent Health Waterside stage where they usually have live music in the evening, but we were too early to enjoy it. And to end this mission, we stopped at Gideon's Bakehouse, but there was a problem. The wait was two and a half hours and we were full. We recommend signing up for the virtual queue once you get to the springs before you start doing anything if you don't get there early. But we love these cookies, so we came back the next day. The next day. The morning wait was 10 minutes to get the best cookies on earth. It was a win-win. Plus, we live only 12 minutes away from Disney Springs. Visiting this place is a whole experience. They offer cookies and cakes, plus this place is so cool. Their location at Disney Springs operates more like a busy theme park ride than a bakery. Their cookies are huge, half pound, handmade, and mind-blowingly good. We ordered four of their most popular cookies and paid a total of $30. They have no seating space, so we had to look for seating nearby. The first cookie is the original chocolate chip. Next, we have the cookies and cream. The third cookie is the triple chocolate. And last one, the peanut butter. Mabel hates peanut butter, so of course, I had to make her take a bite against her will. I almost got hit by La Hefa. She was so mad. But let me tell you, we are obsessed with these cookies. They are fresh and soft with so much chocolate. They are a must try if you find yourself at Disney Springs. Hasta la vista, baby. All right, guys, that will be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. I have a goal of hitting 50,000 subscribers this year in 2024. So if you haven't subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you are looking to buy or sell here in Central Florida and or Tampa Bay, my email will be down in the description below. For now, that'll be all, and we'll see you in the next video.